All right, I'm going to show you how atheism has produced Nazism and how evolution and atheism gave rise to Nazi Germany and how basically Adolf Hitler, he was an evolutionist. And that atheists will claim, well, Christianity has killed millions of people. Uh, no, the Catholics have killed millions of people and Roman Catholicism is not Christianity. Uh, again, I have, I have videos exposing Catholicism and proving that it's a false cult. It does not, it's got nothing to do with Christianity. But they'll say that Christians and religious people have killed millions. Okay, what about atheists? Um, atheism has produced communism and Nazism. And here is an article on creation, at creationism.org, and it's about the, the influence of evolution in Nazi race programs. And, you know, before atheists say, well, it's a creationist website. Okay, they have all their sources at the bottom of the article, all their footnotes. And I'm going to be linking these footnotes, too, in the description. So don't worry, there's a lot of sources that will be given. But let's get right into this. I'm going to read this to you guys. Evolution's influence on Nazism is a highly emotional topic, which has been researched and discussed only to a limited con extent. Sorry, Contemporary documents uh, conclusively demonstrate that Nazi governmental policy was highly influenced by evolutionist thought, the zeitgeist of both science and educated society of the time. The treatment of Jews as inferior groups was largely a result of a strong belief in biological evolution as a means to, help, to, to improve mankind. So evolution was what, was what pushed the Nazis. It was what, what pushed them. And again, sources sources are at the bottom of the article, and I will, I will be linking these sources in the description. The Nazis first tried to achieve this goal by isolating inferior races to prevent them from further contaminating the Aryan gene. Uh, it is widely believed that it was scientifically proven that the Jews and certain races were genetically inferior. The government was simply trying to apply this science to produce a superior race of humans as part of their goal of a better society. Hitler, Hitler's writings uh, revealed that he viewed humankind as animals, just like how atheists do, they view us as animals, to whom principles learned from animal breeding can be applied, as Clark concluded. Adolf Hitler's mind was captivated by evolutionary teaching, probably since the time he was a, he was a boy. Evolutionary ideas, quite undisguised, lie at the basis of all the worst, or that is worst in Mein Kampf, and in his public speeches. Hitler reasoned that a higher race would always conquer the lower. Exactly what evolution teaches, the, the, the um, origin of the species, you know, like, like how people are more evolved and stuff. It lines up perfectly with evolution. And not to mention that Hitler is also heavily in line with the Catholic Church and the Jesuits, too. And it's kind of funny because the Catholic Church is now starting to accept evolution. Birds of a feather flock together. Uh, German force, G Gassmann force, weird name, Gassmann force stated that in, in no other country did the ideas of Darwinism develop as a total explanation of the world as in Germany, insisting on only literal transfer of the laws of biology as interpreted by evolution to the social realm. So evolution was basically pushed on, the, on society. Hitler noted that there were, he, he would not let two million mark of uh, thoroughbred horse breed with like with a nag, basically talking about how in, inferior races. He likewise felt that to advance the human race, we must direct evolution instead of letting natural forces chance the blind ch and chance blindly produce. His view on race and evolution made the fatal combination which produced the Holocaust. As Smith Six notes, funny name. One of the central planks in Nazi theory was a doctrine evolution was or Nazi and doctrine was evolutionary th sorry theory and doctrine sorry was evolutionary theory that all biology all biology had evolved upward and less and that less evolved types should be actively eradicated. The natural selection could uh, should could could and should sorry not good at reading on a computer could and should be actively aided and therefore instituted as political measures to eradicate Jews, blacks, and any and whom they considered underdeveloped. And you'll see that with neo Nazis today. They'll say, you know, we have to get root, we have to preserve the white race. We have to. And I know that because I was one myself. I used to be a Nazi myself. I used to be into white supremacy and all the other stuff. And I would say, we have to get rid of the Muslims. We have to get rid of the Jews. We have to get rid of whatever to preserve the white race. I was like that too. So a lot of this is actually very familiar to me. And it's kind of funny because when I was into Nazism, I was also getting into atheism too. Not surprisingly. But like I was saying, we should get rid of Muslims. We ought to get rid of all these different groups. Why? Because they're obsessed with race. They're race idolaters. They're obsessed with preserving the superior race. You know, it's ridiculous. And a belief that evolution uh, could directly produce a superior race, as Tana Baum noted, was a central litmus of Nazism. Again, not good at reading on a computer. Each revolution has its own characteristic symbolism. The arch symbol of Nazi creed was race. So they're obsessed with race. They're just an idolatry towards race. 
There were many other sources uh, from which Nazism drew its ideological fire water, uh, but what in that concentration or constant, constant, yeah, whatever concentration. Again, not good at reading on the computer. Of ideas and nightmares which made up the Nazi race concept, most of all the other litmus of Hitlerism were merged into a deadly harmony. The social policies, or policies, sorry, of the Nazi state, and to considerable extent its military and diplomatic policies as well. So evolution was influencing every aspect of Nazi Germany. Uh, can be most clearly comprehended in the light of its, of its vast racial program. Uh, Hitler often used terms as superior race, race con contamination, and pollution of the race, as the philosophy that humans could direct evolution up to a higher level is repeatedly reflected in his writings and speeches. To accomplish this goal, barbarian behavior, um, or you know, to accomplish this goal, required barbarian behavior. Sorry, uh, Rush Munching funny name, quoted Hitler as stating that the Nazis were barbarians. We want be bar we want to be barbarians. So this, this is Hitler speaking. As bar we, the Nazis are barbarians, we want to be barbarians, and it is an honorable title. We shall rejuvenate the world. Thus, Keith Nine, it's all these weird names, concluded that Hitler is an evolutionist. He concluded that Hitler was an evolutionist. He has con con consciously sought to make the practice of Germany conform to the theory of evolution. So again, Nazi Germany it was pushed by evolution. It was pushed by atheistic ideology. Same thing with communism too. Communism was also pushed by uh, atheistic evolutionist ideology. The thing that we have to get rid of these inferior people. You know, many of Hitler's top aides had held similar beliefs. Hoses, Hoes, whatever. St while still a young man, joined Freikorps in pre-Nazi German secret night of the court, which often took the law into their own hands. After taking part in a brutal execution of a traitor, you know, quote unquote traitor. Hoses was arrested and sentenced by the Republican German court to 10 years of hard labor. While in prison, Roloff 10 noted, weird names, that the future Nazi was particularly interested in the books of racial theories, heterodity, and ethnological, ethnological works. Sorry. Hoses later, Ho later used his knowledge about race to manage the various concentration camps, including Auschwitz. So again, Auschwitz was produced by atheism too. He re- Sorry, re restructured. Sorry, again, not good at reading on the computer. This forced labor camp but into a means of furthering evolution. In Auschwitz, the inmates were no longer persons, but simply goods to be processed in a gigantic death factory which he had organized. Disgusting. Uh, the Nazi party did not uh, view itself as wrong or inhumane. It openly, kind of like atheists, they'll say, well, we're not bad, we're not that bad. Just like the Nazis, too. They say, well, we're not that bad. We're not inhumane. It openly prided itself on the scientific ideology of the, and modern view of the world. Uh, Bronson 14 notes that their ideas of class and race and determinism reinforced uh, as they are by our faith in evolution, or by our faith in evolution, may be well, may be, sorry, may well be inescapable. Sorry. Darwinism and Racism. The teachings of evolution influenced Hitler in many ways. The complete title of Darwin's famous Bible was The Origin of the Species, Means of Natural Selections, or yeah, The Origin of the Species, Means of Natural Selections, or The Preservation of Favored Races in the Struggle of Life. So Darwin taught exactly what Hitler did. Uh, Darwin himself noted, as the title clearly believed, that some races, such as the blacks, were inferior to others. As Holler 15 noted, the subject of race inferiority is beyond critical, it, or it was beyond critical reach in the late 19th century. Although Darwin opposed slavery, he did not feel that one of the strongest evidences for evolution was existing, was the existing of living primitive races. Uh, but he believed that, sorry, he, but which he believed were evolutionary in between ape humans and monkeys. You know, so you basically like saying that oh, they're they're just like monkeys, kind of like atheists. They'll just say oh, humans became from monkeys, even though there's no proof, there's no scientific evidence of that. That we came from monkeys. Now, yeah, monkeys do have some things in common with humans, but we didn't come from monkeys. It's ridiculous. The missing link wasn't missing at all, but most evolutionists at the time concluded uh, lived in or that of the time concluded lived in Australia. So talking about the missing link lived in Australia or other far off places. Some fifteen or s s sorry, that was uh, footnote number fifteen. Uh, some living races were viewed as clear evidence of the graduation of living creatures pointing to the truth of evolution, quote-unquote truth of evolution. Uh, for this reason, almost all biology textbooks of the time discussed a hierarchy of races. Hmm, interesting. Funny how they won't discuss that today, uh, probably because they don't want to expose the fact that evolution created Nazism. 
Uh, although Darwin was far less racist than many of his disciples, especially uh, Spencer, Haeckel, Hutton, Pearson, Huxley. Oh, yeah, those guys are wicked devils. Um, I mean, they're just they're just wicked. I mean, once you read about them, they're just super like evil. They're really wicked. Uh, his, but again, this is the fruit of atheism. Uh, his theory provided a basis for later extreme racism that he never worked, or and he never worked against this conclusion. See chapter seven on the races of man and the descent of man. Ernest Haeckel is actually called the great ancestor of theoristicians. Whatever. Again, not good at reading on a computer. So, you know, to all you atheists who make fun of my reading, again, try reading on a computer if you're me. The widely used textbook, A Civic Biology, which uh, Scopes used in the class he taught in 1925, became the basis for the famous D Dayton, Tennessee Scopes trial to discuss uh, man's place in nature. Uh, under the section of evolution, in a mild but openly racist statement, it concludes, At the present time, there exist upon the earth five races. Uh, every, uh, each, sorry, each vary from different, uh, from, sorry, ah. Eh. Again, not good at reading on a computer. Each very different from the other in instincts, social customs, and structure. There is the Ethiopian or Negro type, that's what they called them, the mongroid or yellow race, probably be Asians, and probably the highest, the highest type of all Caucasians represented by civilized white inhabitants of Europe and America. Uh, the American high school textbooks, which, which went th through several editions, is mild compared to, the, to others at the time. The philosophical... You know, philosophy, you know, beware of philosophy and vain deceit, what the Bible says. Philosophical orientation that existed in the Western world, especially Nazi Germany, is still clearly evident. The man who uh, some regard as the actual modern discoverer of evolution by natural selection, Wallace, espoused essentially the same idea. In his words, the self-acting process would necessarily improve the race, or would necessarily yeah, improve the race in every generation, but the inferior and the inferior would evidently be killed off, and the superior race would remain. The fittest would survive, you know, survival of the fittest, you know, pure atheism. Uh, and it's a footnote, footnote 19. This is the essence of evolution and racism at its core, or it is at its core. Uh, even Chambers, in his classic study, v Viscais, I don't know, and the Natural History of Creation, in which Darwin said uh, that without his, this book, he might never have written The Origin of the Species, concluded that the Negro was the um, was a foot of the mongrel, or Mongol, whatever that is, and the yellow race between in between the Caucasians, so talking about how Asian, and you'll see that with Nazis too, they'll often say the Asians are, are more closer to the white people. I've seen that with Nazis uh, all the time. Uh, at, with Caucasians at the top, Chambers himself concluded that various races of mankind are simply st uh, stages in development of the highest or, or highest or Caucasian type. It's funny because a lot of these evolutionists often pick the race they're in as the, the more superior one. Like you talk to some of these black supremacist black supremacist groups, like the Black Panther Party, they'll say the black race is superior. They always pick their own race. It's funny. Chambers taught that the black race was at least developed, advanced, or evolved, and the, Cauc and the Caucasian race is the most uh, advanced and most evolved race. Uh, evolution in Nazi Germany and war. Extensive research into the existing documents has recently shown much light on the influence of Darwin on Hitler and the Nazi ideology. The concept that all men are created equal and the egalitarian ideal, which dominated American ideology for the past 20 years, uh, into a lesser degree since its founding of our country is not universal uh, among all nations and cultures. Uh, German, the Germans specifically taught that they were the superior race, and thus, kind of like how the Black Panthers and these Black Hebrew Israelites, they'll say, oh, yeah, we're the superior race, you know, all that stuff. It's funny. The uh, white supremacists and the black supremacists are two sides. The, all they are are just two sides of the same wicked coin. They're just, they're just two sides of the same race idol, the race-worshipping coin. Two sides of the same evolutionist coin and thus it was best for all that they be ruled or that they ruled um i'll just skip down a bit uh, let's see if there's anything else i want to read because this is a pretty long article but uh, yeah, individuals as hitler stressed are not important or individual individuals hitler stressed are not important the most important thing is race uh 33 certain races just such as a race certain races as whitehead notes were not even persons the Jews, labeled subhumans, became non-beings and it became legal and right to exterminate them in the collectivist and evolutionist standpoint. They were not considered part of the whole, no, thus, and thus were not persons in the sight of the German government. So Nazi Germany, I mean, evolution produced the Holocaust because they said the Jews are, are not, you know, they're subhumans, they're not, they're not even humans. 
you know, it's crazy. Uh, let me just see if I can scroll down. Uh, here it is, Nazism and religion. Uh, because the, he, he, uh, atheists will say, well, Hitler was a Catholic. Well, yes, he was a Catholic. That is true, they're right, he was a Catholic. And, if he, again, Roman Catholicism goes along with atheism, because Roman Catholicism is a satanic cult, essentially. So, they're right when they say Hitler was a Catholic, but they're saying it as in the sense of, oh, he's a Christian. No, he's not. Hitler was not a Christian. Roman Catholics are not Christians. Some persons noting Germany was a very religious country, and they claim that Hitler was one of, was at one time an altar boy for a short while, and considered himself a good Roman Catholic. Yeah. Roman Catholicism, again, is, is uh, a, a false cult. It is not Christianity. The strong feelings of Hitler and the Nazi party against religion as a whole, though, were very clear. Hitler stated bluntly, the organized, organized lie, religion, must be smashed. The state must re remain in the absolute master. You know, again, if you let evolution take your nation, you'll end up like North Korea or China. I mean, go to North Korea or China. All religions are banned. It's just state atheism. And look how bad those countries are. Look how... Look how Look how corrupt they are. It's crazy. Do atheism when it when it governs your state, turn you turn it. I mean, if atheism were to govern Canada, it would become it become like another North Korea. The state must remain an absolute uh, master. When I was a youngster, I thought it was necessary to thought to set about destroying religion with dynamite. So he talks about destroying religion with dynamite. I seem to realize that there is room for subtlety. Subtlety. The rotten branch falls off. The final state must be in St. Peter's chair. So talking about the Vatican. And again, Roman Catholicism is a, is a false cult. And so I'm not like trying to defend Roman Catholicism. Uh, sem so, sorry, senile efficient. Facing him, a few sinister old women in gags. As poor in spirit as anyone could wish. And you go down. And then he talks about how it is impossible internally to hold humanity in bondage and lies. It was only between the 6th and 9th centuries that Christianity was imposed upon our people. Our peoples had previously been succeeding uh, and living all right without this religion. Yeah, it's funny, they're following paganism, and European paganism was rampant with polygamy and bestiality and incest and, and sodomy and, and all this d just disgusting stuff. Yeah, they're sure doing really great before Christianity. Right. I have six divisions of SS men, uh, absolutely ind indifferent on the matters of religion. It doesn't prevent them from going to their death with sincerity in their souls. And you get the you get the picture. So Hitler hated Christianity, everything, everything like that. Uh, and then he goes on. And as Keith noted, he view, he also viewed Christianity and evolution as polar opposites. Well, they are. So he's right. They are polar opposites. Um, and he talks about how Christian churches are built on the ignorance of men. So yeah, you get the picture. Nazism is the result of atheism and evolution and paganism and Roman Catholicism too. So yeah, whenever an atheist says, oh, Christians kill people, just tell them first of all that the Catholics and Roman Catholics are not Christians. But second of all, show them all this proof right here at the bottom that Hitler was, was motivated. He was pushed by evolutionism. He was pushed by atheism. So anyway, there's a reason why the Bible says the fool says, says in his heart there is no God. Yeah, Hitler was a fool, and he's burning in hell right now, and I imagine he believes in God now. So, anyway, God bless you. Don't be deceived by atheism. God bless you. Goodbye.